Hi everybody, this is uh, one of my newest videos. Well, not much of a review, just like a, a video that I just wanted to show off all five, well, four astromorphers plus the digitizer. I just thought it would uh, en enhance it a bit and make it look cooler, so I put my remaining Space Ranger figures together, like um, with the morphers, or the digitizer and the four astromorphers. The fifth astromorpher came in yesterday or the day before. I think it was yesterday. Yep, yo, yeah, yesterday. And I must say, it was in really good condition. I'm very pleased with how it came. Okay, this is it right here. The electronics in it work really well. It's, uh, the electronics, actually, it works when it wants to, and then sometimes it, like, kind of shorts out. And it's, uh, overall, it's pretty good. Only thing is the screw on it the screws on it are rusted. I plan on coloring it in a bit. But here let me just show you the electronics. Okay, so I guess it doesn't want to open, I wonder why. Okay. Sorry about that. Let me just, just do that again. So here, turning it on. The electronics are pretty decent in this, but sometimes when you turn it on, it makes a high-pitched noise, and I don't know. I just don't understand what the owners do to these morphers for the electronics to bug out. Like, that, maybe they leave the batteries on, or they leave it on for ages. I don't know what the case is. But overall, the condition of this Astro Morpher is really good. Yeah. So... Again, I'm just going to answer some of the questions uh, that some people ask me. Um, the reason I got five astromorphers, well, four astromorphs and, and a digitized, well, you get what I mean, is because of the, to the 10th power. Ever since I was small, because I grew up with space, I always went crazy when I saw that scene with Andros opening up the vault and all four, five astromorphers were in there. I was like, oh, wow, I, wanted, I want five astromorphers. So I've been working on always doing that. I thought one day when I find a good deal, I will do that. So I've got like most of them for a really good price. The digitizer I had for a very long time. The rest of them I got them mostly for thirty three dollars. The exp the most expensive one was like forty five fifty dollars. Like that was a bit too much too much expensive, but the rest were pretty good in pricing. Now how do you get? How do you uh, go about getting? Um any item for a good price I would say either sorry either you can check on eBay usually if you check on eBay quite often and you have patience you can find good deals on there like it comes with a lot of patience however if you want the item right away and you cannot wait that's when you end up having to pay the price I mean sure sometimes you do have the good deal popping up in your face and you don't need to, to search for it, but most of the times you do. And also you can join up Power Ranger forums such as rangeboard.com. Um, that one is a very active forum. You have collectors there who take part in selling, buying, trading, what what you have it like. You can uh, easily go there and a lot of them are very reasonable. So that's how you can go about getting those um yeah and I also do I have I had some people ask me too like how do I plan to display the um, these morphers I do actually plan to do something like similar to the pipes in the space in this uh, space and galaxy team up but obviously that's not something I see myself going around and doing because I'm not really good with the hands when it comes to making things but I thought I would do something similar like maybe like colored stands or like I don't know something I just really haven't looked into it yet but yeah here's my video of all five of them and I actually did have some beaten up astromorphers two of them actually that I got I ended up like touching them up I couldn't find this same exact shade but I found a shade really close to it like this one in particular sorry about that um this one right here I ended up touching it up because it was a big scratch on the side 
there are some scratches here next to the on and off button some scratches on the decoration over here as well and on this side there was a bit of scratches up close yes you can tell it's kind of colored in but like from far it's hard to tell so I'm not it doesn't really bother me so it's pretty cool also you can always um, I would say for an astromorpher it's worth from 30 to 50 dollars I mean loose but if it's new in its packaging yes it will cost you a lot it will hurt your wallet but what I recommend is just go for the loose unless you're a diehard collector and you need the packaging and all, the, all of that the loose one is just as good and if it's like beaten up and all you can just like uh, touch it up with uh, touch it up and customize it a bit so it looks just as good so um, so but that's basically it and these are just my leftover space figures if you guys just want to see all of them are like the, from the Astro all of them are like the Astro figures I have some light star figures too but that my Astro team is in good condition this one is the Astro uh, the light star yellow range I just love her too much because that's like the piece that I had trouble finding so I just put them next to the Astromorphers that I have so yeah that's um, my little space team that's that's the only team I actually have left um, and, if, and hey if you're a fan that's from Canada guess what the samurai merchandise actually made it here the mega rangers or whatever they call them Figures, they actually are in Walmart, which is a big surprise because Walmart stopped selling Power Ranger figures after Jungle Fury. And Toys R Us has the second wave of the samurai figures, the normal looking guys. And I think some people found Rita and Decker too. And some of the bike figures and the morphers. So, like, look out for those. And yeah, so that's my video review. And here are the Astro Morphers again. So, yeah. Yeah, this, this is totally awesome. I really love them. But yeah, thanks for watching. And as always, if you have any comments or concerns, please do not hesitate to ask me, and I'll gladly answer them for you. And uh, have yourselves a great day. Or night.